Hello, my name is Maximus Ortiz, and I'm doing my artist response on Hamlet. I'm um, going to be doing it as a costume designer. So, um, the in the play Hamlet, it's uh, based around 1600s in Denmark. So, fashion around that time was a uh, broad laced with uh, collars and waistlines becoming very popular around this era too. Um, for both men and women. Um, other fashion trends included slash sleeves, um, tall and also broad hats with uh, brims, and um, fabrics with, with uh, many patterns were worn that were either woven or embroidered into um, the clothing, and um, women only wore dresses around this time, but um, depending on their wealth and status would uh, depend how their dress looked. But um, Hamlet's, Hamlet's um, outfit, he, him being a prince, he would have had a very broad collar with um, a, a shirt, and a sleeved shirt, something that looked similar to this. And, um, his Claudius, the king, um, him being a king, he'd have a very nice outfit with a very broad collar, um, maybe some kind of sash with, a uh, jewelry, and, um, his sleeves having very big and broad ends something similar to this and his wife um, Gertrude would also have a very uh, broad collar with a nice uh, nice dress um, maybe like a nice necklace with jewels or some kind of jewelry earrings with her um, hair very broad and uh, big, almost, if you will, and, uh, her dress being big, also, and something similar to this. Um, so fashion around that time in Denmark would, uh, look something like this. And the only different character, um, well, not different character, but character from a different place, uh, would be Fortinbras. He's a he's a prince from Norway. His clothing would would have been a little different. Um, it would have looked something like this: a hat with um, a very um, nice collared sleeve shirt. Um, with pants that he he would the only be the only different um, dressed person there, but everybody else would uh have been based off the sixteen hundreds fashion.